In the last episode of Raven with him to Grandmaster, we played some absolutely epic TVZ macro games, even going up to 45 Ravens. We also discovered a new build in TVZ that can maybe help keep us safe against those early all-ins. Let's discover some more awesome tactics. All right, the first game of the day is going to be another TVZ, a barcode with the Rainer portrait. That's uh, that's pretty terrifying, I have to say. Now, let's see. I, I do always love to start my videos off with a little bit of an experiment. So in the last episode, we I think we basically had two builds, which might be the foundation for the entire challenge, really. Like the five, or at least for TVZ, right? The 5cc setup after a fast 3cc opener. Uh, and then slowly, well, I did open with faster widow mines uh, or faster drilling claws i believe so that's you know a, a one detail that we need to keep in mind but besides that it was pretty standard and then eventually we tried to go double starport before taking the third command center which helped us defend a cheese now i do wonder if there's something a little more aggressive that we can do when it comes to the widow mines like the thing is widow mine drops against zerg are I mean, you don't really see them because Zerg kind of has like an automatic defense by having queens and the, the problem with Widomines against Zerg, to be more specific, it's, it's a little more advanced. The problem is that if you drop Widomines against Zerg, Widomines are a one-time threat. And one-time threats are not that good against Zerg because Zerg can instantly replenish all the drones they lose and they don't have to make any other units. If you play against Protoss, for example, uh, Protoss makes workers and units at the same time. So if you kill 10 workers, that's a massive deal because it's not like they can skip their 10 units to make 20 workers instead of 10. No, it doesn't work like that. So against Protoss, stuff like Widowmine jobs are quite good. Against Zerg, you kind of want something that's a more consistent threat and that's why you always see Terrans making Hellions or stuff like Banshees because you can keep attacking non-stop and out microing them, right? So Widowmine drops not usually super effective against Zerg, but I do think if you get Drilling Claws, they can actually be quite good. And now we are allowed to make, uh, well, the one Reaper and the five Marines, but besides that, we can make Widowmines, Medivacs, and Ravens, which does mean we could potentially go for a Drilling Claw Mind Drop opener. I'm not quite sure if we can... Oh, that's a very late hatchery, guys. Hmm, okay. This looks like a big, fat cheese to me. Um, let's let's see how much gas he has mined. It's going to be quite important. Over 100 gas. Okay, I think I'm going to be smart here. Um, I am most likely going to cancel this command center. I'm already going to tell that because that is usually what you do when people make or mine this much gas this early. The thing is, he's most likely going to go for a link flood. I cannot defend the command center. But at the same time, I do want to make sure he actually builds links before I cancel it. Why I don't like the build he's doing necessarily is because I think the Terran should always be ahead after this if you don't try to defend the natural. But here, if he's not going to attack me, that's going to be freaking massive. Then we're going to have to start worrying about a follow-up attack later on. Wait, this is such a good... Oh my goodness, he's going to follow the Reaper. This is massive. Guys, if I can save this, that would be even bigger. Oh no, we're going to keep the command center alive because he chased it. And I'm going to be able to land my factory on the reactor and we're going to keep the Reaper alive. Oh, this is such a good start. This is an absolutely amazing start for us. I can even scout again with the Reaper, which is going to be fantastic. I kind of hope he doesn't... Yeah, okay. It looks like he's not going to see... Wait. Actually, there's a little trick you can do. I can... Look at this. I can keep my SCV barely in the line there. Uh, so he can't actually see it. Now, this could be a bailing bus still let's keep that in mind bailing bus could be potentially pretty scary i'm gonna hide one widow mine over here and maybe one widow mine on the bottom side that could be quite nice there's no third base oh i could have blocked out that's unfortunate now let's see um i guess i am gonna go for a normal widow mine drop first the, the problem that i wanted to talk about before uh, you know, getting distracted by this early attack that he was doing, is that I'm not quite sure if I can get the five command center set up well going for Widow Mines, because I think we saw that in the last episode, Widow Mines are not that good when they're on their own against Zerglings, because just a, a couple Widow Mines can trigger them. Oh, this might be big. I think I can kill all of these links. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> well, never mind that, guys. Widow Mines are fantastic, apparently. Uh, no, but Widow Mines are not usually good against just a small amount of Zerglings, because they get triggered very easily easily uh, and that is pretty much going to be it yo medevac can you uh, do your job and heal the scv please that would be freaking awesome i could probably repair that as well and i'm gonna have enough widow mines for the drop and this also means that he made extra zerglings by the way after the initial wave which is also really good for me and from this point on we should be completely safe
wave. I don't think I even have to make my fifth marine. Uh, he made even more zerglings apparently, which is also really good. I'm going to make an extra command center. And then I'm going to go for the drilling call right away. And then I just need to... So Dude, this is actually so good. Look at this. Either it has the watchtower or it blocks him from it. This is actually such a good position for the SCP. Holy cow. I feel like everyone should be using that because that is freaking insane, to be honest. I'm going to get these gases already. Not, not quite sure about that, but dude, that's actually so freaking cool. Look how stupid this looks. His Zerglings are right there. It looks like they're on hold position, you know, but he actually just doesn't see the SCP because of the line of side blocker. And it's close enough that... Um uh, that he doesn't get the vision. Let's see, how many can I kill? I think that was about eight workers. That's a really good first Widow Mind drop. Really, really good. Better than I could have expected. And let's see, I'm going to cancel a couple SCVs so I can start making more command centers. I do need to get my 5cc setup up at some point. I think maybe I should sp uh, spread these Widow Mines a little bit already. Uh, so I'm just going to be a little more annoying. It looks like that one's a little bit too close. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't see that with the Queen, to be honest, but apparently he did. That sucks for me. See, I'm going to move that... Wait, where did it go? Okay, here it is. I'm going to put it back a little bit, and then I'll move it back in position. And now that should be able to deny him... Wait, I got the watchtower again. He moved the links and even realized. I should be able to deny him from mining this out at least easily. At least we're going to annoy him a little bit before he mines it out. So I'm going to drop a Widow Mine here as well. And economically, this should put us in a really good spot because that's going to delay his bases. Now, keep in mind, he can still go for things that would be very hard to deal with. For example, if he was going for Mutalisk and we wouldn't scout it, that would be very, very difficult. So I think I'm going to sacrifice this Medivine and try to scout for some Mutas. Okay, that's a lot of gas. That's a Bailing Nest. That's all the information we're going to get. But he does have a lot of gases, which... Is definitely a little bit on the suspicious side. I think I might add uh, two turrets per base. Like It looks like we're going to get our planetaries up, which is really nice. We killed a couple of drones, so he's going to be rebuilding those. Uh, instead of focusing on, you know, making whatever unit is going to mess me up instead. So I think we're in a good position to play like this. It's always going to be a little scary for the production. Like, this is a lot of money that I'm using on turrets, but I just think I have to. Realistically... My brain is telling me that we're going up against Mutas. Uh, it doesn't have to be the case. I think the last time I thought it was Mutas, we went up against Swarmos, but uh, we just have to. Like, I don't have the Ravens this game to help me as much against Swarmos as the Ravens did in that last episode. So I think this is the right idea. Okay, now we have Drilling Claws, guys. These Widow Mines are going to be very strong. Very, very, very powerful if we drop them. This is going to be a lot of kills. And they burrow really fast. Let's see, can I get a shot? Oh, this looks like another shot. Maybe I can even save a couple because he's not targeting the medevac. And then I'm going to go into the next base. I should probably be taking my gases as well so I can start going up to a good Raven count. He's losing. He's going to lose so many freaking workers to this guy. This is insane. This mineral line is also going to be pretty much gone. Beautiful. Now, it looked like he, he had bailing speed with a significant amount of bailing. So it would be smart for me uh, to start spreading out widow mines here so I don't get killed by a couple bailings right clicking on my planetary. I mean, this position that I have is looking pretty freaking brutal, guys. Uh, because he's going to attack me. I don't think he should be able to kill me through my widow mines. I'm going to unburrow this real quick. Let's see, that's going to be unburrowed. I can burrow this one as well. I can target... Oh, I targeted the Bailings. Oh, I almost got it. I can still kill it with the Planetary, though. I think we killed enough links. The Planetary is going to take care of the rest. He has only one Bailing left. And it looks like the Planetary is going to be able to take care of all the links. I have five command centers already. My 5cc setup is complete. The fact that I still have this bunker is actually extremely nice because that means he can't just run into the natural. And that was yet another really efficient fight for me. Going to drop into the natural again. Now I'm going to go for the starports so I can get the ravens after. And this build, honestly, like maybe not the specific build, but more the, the concept, I suppose, does look very, very strong. Like the drilling claw with mine drops give us like a lot of harassment, a lot of distraction. So my opponent doesn't have the clarity of mind to uh, go for a kill right away or, or anything like that. And even then, Widomines might have a decent shot at actually defending. So uh, could still be good in that case. And then we can go for the Ravens after. This is going to be another a lot of workers killed, I think, because the Drilling Claw Widomines, they just shoot so freaking fast. Wait, I'm going to try to sneaky burrow one up here. He might not realize. 
Let's see, I'm gonna click this away. Let's see, I'm just gonna burrow one off here. Dude, if that works, that'd be very funny. I think I got, uh, yeah, I do have plus one armor. Let's get the uh, ravens now, or the tech labs rather. Start taking some gases over here on this side. I don't have that many SUVs yet, so you could you can tell that this very, looking at this build very specifically, the economy is not that great because it is a little slow. Now, I guess I'm just gonna take care of this overlord. I always forget taking care of these overlords for some reason. Uh, now, wait. Do you think I could maybe doom drop? Okay, this is just dumb. I, I think I'm being dumb again, guys. I need someone to hold my hand and stop me. I'm going to doom drop with mines <laughs> on top of his zerglings. I, I actually feel like it could work because there is... I don't think there's that many bailings left. Like bailings with... Oh, that's actually a little annoying. Bailings with one shot them. Here, I guess I'll just kill that friend real quick. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go for it. Okay, he does have roaches now. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be very interesting to see how this is going to go. I feel like I should be able to kill a lot of his units with this. Yeah, he lost all of the Zerklings pretty much, I could tell, on the other side. And now he's going to lose all of the freaking drones. Oh my god, this actually worked. Why did this work? We got all of his drones and all of his Zerklings. And we're actually going to keep a decent amount of... The Ten? No, eight. Okay, we can freaking eight Widowmines alive after all that. Widowmines are not bad, guys. They're really not bad. This, by the way, if you guys uh, ever want to torture your opponent on the ladder, this is probably the number one way to do it. I can't, I can't imagine killing my opponent in a more frustrating way than with Mass Widow Mines. Mass Widow Mines, be, or with the Widow Mine in general, being one of the most hated units uh, by Zerg players in particular, I I really can't imagine killing people in a more devastating way than this. Now I'm gonna... Oh, I don't actually have scans. Makes sense, because I only made planetaries, of course, but I kind of want to scan the right side. He does have a lot of units. This is where the planetary comes into play, right? Like, without the planetary, this would be very tough, but I feel like the planetaries should totally help me defend. Oh, these are going to kill a lot of roaches instantly, which is super nice. He could totally buy all those down. Uh, I guess he's not going to. This planetary should win, uh, even against that amount of roach ravager, with the SUVs, I think. At least with my reinforcements. Alone, maybe not, but I don't think he would ever commit to that because he would just lose too many resources. I'm going to make a couple more uh, command centers over here. Try to drop this base again. Didn't actually rebuild that many drones, so this is not going to be the most effective drop of all time. I guess we're just going to go for the natural then. That makes sense as well. And I'm going to a couple over here. I have more widow mines in this. I'm not quite sure if he realized that I did. Let's see. Let's get some target fire. Probably get a couple decent shots. There we go. And now I can move on with my life again like nothing ever happened. My supply is pretty low, I have to admit that. Okay, he's gonna go... No, he's still not gonna go for the planetary. I want him to commit so we can see how it's gonna go. Like, he has a lot of roaches, guys. His army is honestly pretty gargantuan. I'm gonna use an anti-armor missile. If he's gonna focus on the planetary, then... I think my ravens are gonna do really well. Like, remember that auto terrorists die super, super fast. But if his entire army is attacking the planetary then that is obviously not going to come into play. Now, I do have to admit, I've been I've been happy with this build, but when it comes to the setup of the game, it doesn't feel as good as you would hope for. Like, I actually don't have as much money as you would think. Like, I'm quite poor. It's 30 minutes in a game almost, and I'm still not maxed, which is pretty tough. Let's move this out of the way. I think I'm going to try kill his hatchery now with these... I think I made Vikings or something. Yeah, I did make Vikings on accident. I think I'm going to try kill his hatchery with these auto turrets. Let's see if I can get them. Make sure to actually target the hatchery. That'd be nice. This is such a big part of his economy, by the way. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. Okay, looks like he might be trying to go for it now. The hatchery is going to fall. The planetary is still going to pop off. And keep in mind, I do have the armor upgrades for the planetary. Or for the building armor, rather. The planetaries with building armor are so good. Like, it's actually insane to me every time. I think we noticed in the last episode, too, against the uh, Locust Wave, that even against Locust, it does really freaking well. Like, it's it's freaking crazy how well they do when they get the building armor. Now, I don't have enough gas to really start my planetaries and stuff, unfortunately. Let's see. I'm just going to drop an anti-armor missile. I mean, I'm getting a lot of ravens up. I almost have 20 ravens. Actually, I think I had exactly 20 ravens looking at it. So, um, my army count is looking very healthy. This is going to be another million drones blown up, of course. Let's see. There we go. Maybe I can even run a couple of these away. 
because I might as well give it a shot. These Ravens are relatively low HP. Looks like my opponent is finally backing off, though. Let's try to mine this out. Get a couple more command center. Dude, I have so little gas. I really felt like I wasn't mining gas all this time or something. But I guess this strategy is just literally the most gas-intensive strategy I've ever done. Like, it's, it's insane. Now, I am missing a couple command centers. I should have had a couple more orbitals, by the way, for more scans and stuff. I think I'm going to make this one an orbital because the planetary doesn't cover the back anyway. So it's more of a of a sneak expansion kind of thing, I suppose. Now, the spore crawler is moving somewhere else i guess i'll be able to uh just kill it again with a bunch of auto turrets let's see i'm gonna drop an anti armor missile on that maybe i can do some damage over here okay if he wants to fight we take that okay let's see i'm just gonna drop a ton of auto turrets over here like i know they're not gonna fight super efficiently but we are gonna be able to kill some stuff anyway okay, i'm gonna drop more dude they're actually doing very well i'm not quite sure if it's because he's running away a little awkwardly but we are actually killing a lot of stuff which is freaking insane here guess i'll make a couple more commands and just to spend the money i am running out of energy we're gonna kill a couple more ravagers i believe which is crazy let's get a couple more in here i think now we're truly out of energy dude he almost has no freaking roaches left but let's see if i did miss a base now we didn't miss a base there I, I i guess what happened here that would explain um why he had so many units is that he really just didn't rebuild the drones like i spent a lot of resources trying to kill the workers and then he actually just never rebuilt them so his army looked freaking massive all the time like he had a booming economy but in reality he just never rebuilt the economy because now uh, all of a sudden we kill this army once it really doesn't look spectacular anymore like he's not able to remax like we can uh, i have more than 30 ravens now which is freaking crazy i think i can even go across with my widow mines now and just bury them in his face to be honest can i drop it oh he has hydras now that's actually a little bit annoying let's see can i drop auto turrets on top of here probably it's still not going to be the most efficient fight ever but with the anti-armor missile it's going to do a lot better he still doesn't have this base he's going to lose his entire army looks like they're so freaking low hp now i'm going to drop a couple more auto turrets we are really so close to breaking through and we have done it all right units lost efficiency 8k against 16.4k and this was a really nice game i'm honestly not 100 sure about the strategy because the economy was ramping up a little bit too slowly like i was on a really low supply count for most of it but realistically it was also kind of a messed up opener right with like the link flood I couldn't go into like a greedy drilling close build it was a bit awkward it's a concept i'll definitely try again let's go for game number two the second game is against Rare. Wait, we played Rare... Was it... Yeah, it was in the Ling Investor episode, right? Oh, yeah, I remember. Like, the mass links against the really big two-base Rochalin. I remember it quite clearly. Now, this challenge does really seem to be attracting a lot of Zerg players. I think this is our fifth TVZ in a row. And I think we have to start getting a little worried. Like, our MMR is already very high, guys. We are only roughly 500 MMR away from Grandmaster. And at this rate, we might arrive there having absolutely zero clue on how to play against Terran or Protoss. That's a little worrisome. Now, what I'm going to do this game is just try to do a better version of the last build. I think, first of all, walling on the low ground is almost always going to be nice. I, I think the main reason why it's not nice is because we don't really have a good counter to Ravagers. Like, in, in the last game, or in the last episode, rather... We barely managed to defend a big Ravager all in after some yeah, really good plays, a little bit of luck as well. But I still don't think you should be able to defend it if you're not making Banshees and probably tanks. Maybe Cyclones, but Widow Mines and Ravens shouldn't really, you know, get the job done in that case. So that makes it a little scary. But there is always, you know, room for mistakes from the opponent and for, you know super good place to be done of course like if i can get like a really good widow mine bait or i don't know get like a bunch of bunkers up and one widow mine here to kill the zerglings early i don't know like there must be something you can do never really wanted to just give up on a strategy like that but if we ignore the ravager all -ins, this is just going to be a very comfortable way to open because i won't have to make like a bunch of units or maybe even a bunker at home to deal with like a link flood we don't need to build our command center in the wall, so we can very easily fly it over without endangering our wall later on when it is time to take a third base. So this is just going to make everything a little bit easier for me. It's also going to make sure I'm pretty safe against like pool first builds and stuff uh, because I don't have to keep my Reaper at home for as long. Now, this does look like a normal hatch first, so we don't really have to worry about it. Just going to send this Reaper across instantly. hope I didn't get the timing wrong if this is a... 
extractor trick hatchery first then two zerglings might still be running into my base right now but i think we're in the clear now i used to do the build with the blue flame into the drilling claws you guys you guys probably have seen this build at some point especially if you watch my second channel i would go for blue flame hellions into drilling claw with the mine drops and then oh that's actually six zerglings that's quite a lot and then i would go into bio so i think what i can do is i'll just go straight into the drilling claw drops uh, with two factories and one star perk and then uh, instead of spending my money on going for bio so making a couple extra barracks with engineering base i get three extra command centers and then i get all the gases at once ideally up to eight if i'm allowed to saturate my fourth base um and then we go into mass widow mine raven from there i think the last game the ravens did come online a little late so that might be something to think about let's see there's nothing here only 100 gas mine so we actually don't have anything to worry about I'm going to start my armory first. I don't think I necessarily need to make mass widow mines right away. I can uh, make a couple marines first just to deny the overlords. I think that would be a good idea. Going to get my starport up here now. Oh, there! wait, Zerklings actually did. This is really nice. Zerklings came across, uh, but I don't have to worry about it because I do have this wall. Now, oh, he was trying to use... Okay, that's actually pretty cool that I'm my, my marine spawn in time because he was using the overlord to distract me. Or he was using the links to distract me so the overlord could get in, but we blocked that. And that is going to be quite nice for us later in the game. Now, I have to get a really good scout. Of oh, that's actually... Okay, thank goodness. There's a little bit of ping here, so it's always uh, going to be questionable. I should be able to fly this over unless he made even more Zerg links. Like, that amount of links is not actually going to do anything against the Marines here. He is going to be able to scout me, uh, but I had to fly them over anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, and, well, actually, it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to counter this, because if I was him, I would either go for a gajillion drones... Or go for, like, some kind of roach attack. I feel like either of those options would be uh, pretty logical. Let's see. And it is going to be the roach attack. Okay. Hmm. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? This is this is going to be a tough one for sure, guys. I have my five marines. Actually, I, I might as well just... Okay, there's a free drone here. That's quite nice. I think I'm going to try and kill this overlord. I, at least I imagine the overlord was still there. I'm not 100% sure. So he's going to see the bunker now too. What's really nice about this for me is that he might be tempted to cancel the attack. Even though the attack should still work. Like, I, you know, there's not that much I can do against it really, right? Like, I can just burrow my mass widow mines and hope it works. You see, that is not that many links. So I can... Uh, it's actually going to be a little late. It is quite hard to respond on high ping to these things. I'm not quite sure what server I'm playing on. But it's definitely quite laggy. I can tell you guys that much. These links uh, make me believe that he does still want to commit to the attack. Because he's trying to deny the bunker. I think that makes a decent amount of sense. I haven't seen an attack though. He's not mining from this gas. Which is a little sus. But I... I suppose it doesn't tell me everything. He's still making drones, and maybe we give up on this. I, I do have drilling claws, and... Oh, oh this is going to be big, guys. Drilling claws is finished. Look at this. These widow mines are going to absolutely pop off. I'm making sure to target the most juicy drones. And especially because he made roaches, that was a really good initial attack. Like, if he was making only drones, that wouldn't be that big. Uh, but now, that is actually fantastic. He's going to have to make an overseer. Maybe I can even run away with a couple of these. Here we go. I'll bureau this one over here. And this one, maybe I can even escape. Oh, it would be so nice if I could have gotten a little further. I'm going to make another command center. Uh, I do have another medevac up already. I think he's most likely still going to go for some kind of an attack. And it doesn't even matter that he doesn't have that many roaches. It's still going to be really tough to hold. He's going to block this with creep, which is a little bit of an annoying move for me to deal with. He can do that for a long time, too. He can just keep sending in overlords to do that over and over. Uh, but, I mean, if I keep killing drones, then I'm not going to be that upset about it. See, I'm going to keep sending these to the front so I can uh, actually have some usage for them. He's going up to a lot of gases. That is quite... I can't believe he still doesn't have spores, by the way. He actually still doesn't have freaking spores. Oh my god, he's losing so many freaking drones again. That is beautiful. Pretty much that entire mineral line just evaporated. I need another command center. I'm going to scan the main. No mutas to be found yet, interestingly enough. I think maybe I'm going to walk these across. Like, th this is a bit of a problem because I, I actually cannot take this base, I think. Like, I don't think I can walk my widow mines just straight into the Ravagers and, and pretend it's going to be a good trade, you know? Like, I don't think that's going to be something that will work. Maybe it's time for me to go for uh, the Ravens already. 
Sounds a bit questionable to be honest, but maybe it is. Let's see what I can find here. Actually, pretty much nothing. Uh, gonna be able to burrow in this mineral line very easily. Uh, looks like he's not even gonna be able to escape. Look at that, those mines are gonna pop off, exactly. And then I'm gonna drop this base again. The spore should be finished now, but I can still suicide this medevac for a decent amount of damage. Should get some decent hits. Exactly, there we go. Uh, and now, oh, he actually had that block too. I thought I was gonna be able to take that. Unfortunately, I wasn't. Now, I do think it's time for me to go for the five starport raven transition. He's trying to take that base. Yeah, it's a little, wait, guys. This could be huge. Let's see. Can I get a really nice hit? Uh, oh, yeah, I think I got it. Yes, look at that. 10 kills and I win. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I actually got that hit. That is freaking brutal. So maybe I can make this into a planetary now if he wasn't paying attention. Ideally, I still get my planetary up here because otherwise I could die to an attack straight up. Oh, those widow mines actually apparently shot something, which is quite nice. Raven number one is on the way. I guess I'll get the uh, upgrades for the buildings as well. And now it seems like my planetary is going to get up on this side. I should be able to saturate this. This is always going to be a little risky, um, but I do think it's the right idea to just go for that. Yeah, the problem is I don't actually have enough gases yet to be able to go for the ravens. That is a little bit of a problem. Oh, I thought I had them hotkeyed, but I didn't. I pressed the hotkey to burrow them, but then I selected my medevac instead, I believe. That sucks a little bit for me. He's still... Oh my god, he's going to lose even more drones here, I think. Let's see, if I get... If I get the, yeah, the target fire is really good. There we go. Oh my god, he's losing so many. Okay, for a second, I thought that was a spore, but apparently not. I, I do feel like his approach to this has been... A little oh I didn't this one over here. It has been a little surprising where he didn't make spores initially at all, and now he's making them. But at this point, it feels like he might as well just keep his units in the mineral lines because, you know. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get some more shots over here. He's he's making a lot of drones, but I know he still has units. Oh, these with mine shots are so good. How many drones have I killed this game yet? I wonder if you guys can guess it. Hint, it's 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 probably a lot. I don't know how many it is, but it is probably a lot. So now he saw that I have this base because I've been transferring SEVs. Should be... Um, I should be rallying all my workers over there. Let's make sure I kill this overlord one more time. Gonna build a couple turrets. We're pretty close to killing my own medevac, actually. That would have been a bit of a disaster, but not bad. So it seems like my opponent's approach now... It, it, it changed from going for a roach attack and denying my bases to just making a million drones, which... I actually kind of like that approach um, because I, you know, it's not like I have the persistent threat. I think I explained that in game number one. I don't have a non-stop threat, so it's just going to be quite hard for me um, to actually keep the harassment up here. You guys, I want you over there. I'm probably not going to be able to take this planetary, so I'm going to have to back off from that. But I was able to saturate this base in the meantime, and that was one of my biggest goals. Let's see if I can do something with these Widow Mines over here. I have eight Ravens already, which is a, a pretty nice count, I have to say. Let's see. Oh, he's actually not standing here. D don't I have a command center? Oh, my command centers are almost finishing. It would be so nice if I could uh, get the planetary over there. That would be so freaking helpful. Like, I, I legit, I think I need like 12 gases for this style. Like, it's just insane how much gas I need. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, five star per raven, I feel like that's the minimum amount that I want to actually get a decent raven count up. Infestation pit going down now. So I guess this is the first time since... Um, since he has been rebuilding his drones that he actually feels like he can tech up, which is interesting. Normally you would see the tech up a lot faster than that, but uh, I guess it does make sense. Oh, he was actually distracted by the Raven, so he pulled his army back, and now those Widowmites are going to get another shot off, which is really nice. Going to try to go over here. I do need to kill this one already. He is... Oh, he's going to cancel one of my command centers, unfortunately. This plant there is going to... I don't think I have building armor yet. Oh, I do have building armor. Okay, so it's going to be a little stronger than it normally would. But you can see it's definitely going to be quite hard. I mean, this plant there is doing amazing. I'm going to try to target the roaches where I can kill the most. Let's see if I can get that one as well. That'd be really nice. I'm going to burrow a couple of widow mines over here. And now I just need to make sure... Oh, that didn't even die, funnily enough. Um, this is not going to stay up anyway, so I don't have to think about it that much. Let's see gonna be able to walk those in there i have a lot of oh yes corruptors hmm despite me killing a lot of workers this is really not uh going to be an easy finish here by any means guys in fact i think we might still be in a little bit of trouble i can't use all of my auto turrets because then i would lose to out to the corruptors 
I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff over here. Oh, he's gonna fight this planetary now. Sadly for me, he uh, chose the angle without the widow mine, so he is gonna be able to kill it. And this is problematic, guys, because that was pretty much my last line of defense. And now I'm gonna have to bring all my ravens back home. I mean, I do still have widow mines here, of course, which are gonna be very, very helpful. There go my last couple of marines. Let's see if I can drop some turrets over here. If I can bait the corruptors to fight over the turrets, that's gonna be really nice. Yeah, it looks like he's completely focused on these ravens for now. These widow mines are getting some really nice hits. I think we killed every single uh, corruptor there. Maybe I can sneak those over to this angle. I did lose a command center. These auto or these uh, ravens are going to be able to do a decent job here. I got this base up now as well. I'm going to try to make this an orbital, saturate this a little more. I actually lost my barracks, I believe, so I can't make an orbital, which is a little funny. You see, anti-armor missile should be very nice here. And now I'm going to spam turrets. I think I have to fight this before it gets out of hand a little bit. There's another planetary over here, so he can't really run away. If I get auto turrets off, the auto turrets are actually up. He's basically, you can't see it, but he's running through the auto turrets, through the planetary. And I killed his entire army there, which is absolutely massive. That was a very freaking wild entire interaction but i think we got out of it ahead i did lose uh, my factory so i actually cannot really make widow mines anymore i also lost my barracks so i, I thought i could only couldn't make an orbital but obviously i also can't make uh what's it called i can't make more factories now so that's a little problematic i barely have any command centers left here by the way i do still have five and i have two in the main so it's not that bad i guess it's mostly the um the planetaries, like the positions that I lost, I suppose. I'm gonna burrow these widow mines. I kind of want to burrow them in the middle. It also doesn't feel like the best location ever. I think I'll try to spread them a little bit like that. I feel like that would be nice. And these other turrets are gonna come over here. He is, oh, he was actually gonna be able to deny that. At least I thought so, but he's not. So that's really nice. He does have a lot of drones here, but I should be able to kill them all with some auto turrets. At least he's gonna lose a lot of them, which is super nice. This needs to be a planetary right now, my friend. Let's make that a planetary. I'm gonna try to kill the hatchery over here. Looks like there's an army on top that should be able to cancel a couple of these command centers, but is gonna struggle against that planetary. This planetary is gonna pop off so hard. There's no ravages here for the bios, guys. This planetary is gonna do so much damage. Look at that planetary. It's still not low HP because of the building armor. Oh my god, this is gonna get so many roach kills. This is almost like a, a planetary from a planetary rush game because I think it's going to kill his entire army, actually. His entire army is going to die to the planetary. Isn't that insane? He's still trying to kill it by splitting his army, but he's actually going to lose every single roach here, which is insane. And the planetary stays alive. These corruptors might die as well if he's not going to pull them back in time. The corruptors are going to die once more. Those corruptors should have been an absolute nuisance to me, by the way, but instead... It, it really hasn't been that bad. I feel like they've mostly just been dying. I can probably kill these investors as well with a couple auto terrors. There we go. Oh, I need to be careful for that. Let's split these immediately. Actually, uh, very fast and good splits there, I have to say. That was better than what I was expecting it was going to be. And now I have the freedom to take another base. Going to make a couple turrets over here. Make these into some orbitals. And now I think we can maybe push forward and kill like another base or so. That would be really nice. I think what he's going to do is just be recharging the energy on the Vipers. Oh, he's making Muta now instead of the corruptors that is interesting i think we can kill this base as well i don't have that many oh, okay if he wants to fight with the mutas are actually gonna die pretty fast to these let's see can i kill a couple of mutas i need to be really careful here like i could totally overstep and uh, and be in a little bit of trouble i think my entire army is just raven now by the way it's no longer raven with a mine it's just raven I have about 30 of them, and I really need to repair them all. I have 93 SCVs, probably a couple uh, oversaturated, if I had to guess. Let's get some more turrets up here as well. Saturate this gas, too. And I think I might have to rally up here as well at some point. Need a couple more turrets here. Like, mutas are going to be pretty threatening uh, to what I'm doing here, because they're fast. Though, if I get my setup going, I should be able to defend well enough and just kind of fly by the mutants. I don't know what the hell... Huh? What happened here? I thought I... Why are you mining the gas? I thought I said you to repair the ravens. I thought I said them on auto repair. I was so confused there for a second. Okay, I'm going to get a couple more turrets here. Like, the vipers are extremely problematic. I'm going to get interference matrix so I can potentially knock out the vipers with one spell. That would be very nice for me. Are those changelings or my marines? Oh, they're actually my marines. Oh, cool. I, I, how did they survive for this long? I'm pretty sure I've been f 2 my army around, so that's uh, very surprising that they're still alive. I think I'm going to split my ravens in two, so I can kind of circumvent the viper problem a little bit. 
See, these that sounds like it's a bunch of zerglings. Kind of sounds like he uh, changed strategy, right? Oh, this is tough. Need to be very careful here. Like, he's going to be able to run away from the auto turrets very easily. That's a bit of a problem. That's why I need so many turrets everywhere. I feel like turrets are going to make the game significantly easier for me, though. Uh, because he won't really be able to use them very well. Because I'll use an, an anti-armor missile there real quick. And then I should be able to kill most of the drones and the base as well. Let's see. Corruptors are going to die once again. It's, he really has not been taking uh, good care of his Corruptors, I have to say. Those Corruptors have been living a uh, painful life, that is for sure. Oh, he's going to... Oh, wait. Let's see if I can... Uh, not the same level of splits, but still pretty good, to be honest. We need to be careful. Like, these are dead anyway, so I'm just trying to get all of my spells out that I can. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able... No, I don't want to trade against that. I think that's a little bit too inefficient. But you can tell that the Vipers plus the Mutas are definitely a little bit of a problem, right? Uh, because the Vipers come in, force me to split, and then the auto turrets and the Ravens are just not going to be as effective, which makes it very, very tough. I think it's time for me to start some more factories again so I can start spamming with the mines. Haven't been able to do that for a while. Here we go, get a couple more of these. How many do I have left? I still have about 30 Ravens, which is really not bad. I'm gonna execute that SCV because it was a silly goose and got stuck, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, there's also some auto turrets. Like every time he attacks me, I kind of have to waste a lot of my energy because he can just fly away. But if I don't, he kills the Raven. So that is uh, something that I need to think about. Wait, I, it, it sounded like those turrets actually got to fire. I was making those out of pure desperation. But it sounded like they actually got some work done, which is really nice. Now, if I can deny the base at the bottom one more time, I feel like that's going to bring us into such a good spot. I'm going to put all my Widow Mines over here. This is a little bit of a crazy play, but I think it's going to be smart. Oh, no, he barely found them. Oh, that sucks for me. That was going to be so nice. Let's see. He doesn't have this base. I'm going to try to attack this one, and then we'll get rid of this base. I was going to say one more time, but I think the last time we didn't actually kill this base, surprisingly enough. Okay, let's drop a little of auto turrets here. It's going to lose a Viper here, which is really nice for us. Okay, let's just spam auto turrets as much as we can. They should be able to do pretty well against the Mutas. Actually got a decent amount, honestly, a surprising amount. Going to drop a lot of auto turrets here. I'm going to kill both the Spire and that Hatchery, which is super nice. And now I'm finally uh, going to be able to get some Widow Mines out again. I don't think I killed the base. Maybe I should be trying to bait him into uh, these Widow Mines over here. That could be a pretty good play. Let me drop a couple other turrets to kill that Overlord. Let's see, does it actually die to two? Because the last time it survived. Oh, this time it died pretty easily. Kind of wondering what happened last time then that it survives. I'm going to try to take... Survive. I'm going to try to take that base on top now. Build a lot more turrets everywhere. Uh, try to take this base. It is just an orbital, which is uh, a little crazy. He does have a lot of... Oh, he's actually going to try? No, okay. I thought he was going to just YOLO it. It really felt like he was going to go for the big YOLO there, but he decided not to, which... Uh, I I don't know if that's good for me or good for him. I kind of felt like those mutas were going to do pretty awesome, to be honest. Now, maybe, guys, if I can bait him over here into these Widow Mines, that is going to be so freaking sick. Let's see. Oh, he's actually flying right there. No! Oh! that is going to be that was perfect actually just straight in the middle he even clubbed them a little bit extra because his move command just oh god that was insane yeah i mean no gg but who the hell would gg that <laughs> who the hell look at this guy i'm gonna show it to you one more time in all of its glory this is beautiful i also have the units lost tab over here so you can see 32.4k look he clicked his mutas over here but look where his move command is which means that all of his mutas are gonna clump up as they reach the widow mines he had 30 mutalisks let's look at the units lost oh my god 4,000 in just one instant. He lost He lost 22 Mutalis right there. 4,400 resources. That is absolutely brutal. A brutal end to this game. But overall, this game, I felt like my strategy was very good. Very happy with everything that happened. I think this is another strategy we can add into our arsenal. These games have been very long, but we're still going to play our third game. Let's do it. The final game of the day is against another Zerg. This, this is getting freaking crazy, no? Two episodes and we're only playing in Zergs. I did always feel like Zergs were creatures of the night, to be honest. I feel like whenever I play on the European server, if I play like ridiculously early, they're Zergs. And I usually accuse them of still being awake rather than waking up early. And now I'm playing on the NA server and 
it's like what is it like 4 a.m or something in an a right now on average of course i know there's multiple time zones and now i only get zergs i feel like zerg players truly are creatures of the night now i do feel like doing a little bit of uh, of, of a cheeky build here because honestly after those two epic macro games i i am a little gassed i'm definitely a little tired here so i'm not quite sure if there's a build that way this a good look at fun i I'm not quite sure if there's a build with which we can kill someone early with Raven Widowmine. That is a thing. You guys know I like to be a little cheeky and, and invent some weird cheeses and stuff, but it's not as easy when you're playing Raven Widowmine. Maybe, I, let's see, if I think about one Reaper, five Marines, and the Widowmines, is there something I could make happen? I feel like potentially I could build a bunker next to their third base. Wait, yeah, this is a wall, okay. This is a bit of an awkward well. I think it's going to work out because I can make my barracks here with the reactor factory. Yeah, it should work out. Uh, I wonder if that's a build I could do. Making a bunker next to their third base. Deny it for a little bit, annoy him, and then run in with the mines later. You know, there's always the potential in StarCraft to not truly win the game, but just force someone to leave by triggering the hell out of them, which that is definitely something I can do with Ravens and Widow Mines. Especially Widow Mines, of course. Now, I feel like for one of these builds, I should have done I should have done like gas first, but I keep forgetting to play gas first. Well, gas first actually sounds quite nice to me, to be honest. Um, I'm going to make a... I think if I make a depot here, I can wall off again later with a secondary add-on. Oh, hold on. Hold up. Oh, we did you take the gold? First, I thought it was... Yeah, okay, we took the gold. Huh. I think, at least. Or he took his third base for no reason. I think it's more likely to assume that he took the gold, right? But that is that is uh, very unusual against Terran. Huh. Well, let's see how this is going to go. I'm, I'm curious. I mean, he's piqued my curiosity at this point. So let's see how it's uh, going to do. I'm going to make a bunker here. Because that's going to be so hard. I mean, this is the reason why you don't usually do it against Terran. <laughs> we got one drone. I'm just looking at it too. He thought I was Protoss. Ah, no. That's what he... Oh. Uh. <laughs> I was wondering, like, oh, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that is painful. I mean, my name is Birdwatcher. I'm obviously a Terran, right? Duh. As if, who wouldn't expect that? I do have to admit that I have played this build myself against Terran, and it actually works pretty decently, but you do have to play, uh, like, a 17-17 or something for it, you know? Like, you have to play something aggressive where you get link speed early, because else you're just going to get your base denied for an incredibly long and frustrating time. Now, I can't quite kill anything here yet, so I'm going to have to use this as, like, an anchor. Let's see, we got one drone already. You're going to go back inside. I can make another bunker. I'm going to make another bunker, actually, just because it's cool. Not, not, not because it's smart, but just because it's cool. I think it's a good... Wait, maybe I can kill this, actually. Check this out. Gonna burn a Widow Mine here. Marine on the other side. Widow Mine does a decent amount of damage. We might be able to get that. Yeah, I think the Marine is gonna be able to clean it up. That's very nice. So it's gonna crawl a little closer. Let's see if I can kill that. Oh, I got the drone, but I couldn't escape. Now, I can micro against this, but I'm gonna have to do this on a lot of ping. So I'm not quite sure if this is a smart idea to do, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to go for a 4 Widow Mine drop, I believe. Let's see. Maybe I can target the Queen. Look at this. Is there... I think there's just a little bit too much pink to do it, but I really would like to get this Queen. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay, the Queen's getting closer. No! Oh, I really wanted that one. Oh, that would have been so nice if I got... Okay, I should stop messing around and actually macro. I was having a little bit too much fun there. Uh, I mean, it was worth it, to be honest, but I was definitely having a little too much fun. I guess we are still going to have to play a little bit of a macro gamer, at least. I'll get my 5cc setup going, because I, I don't really know what I would do otherwise here, to be honest. Now, this depot... Exactly. This depot is going to help me perfectly to finish this wall off off with uh, two add-ons here. Going to start making Widow Mines. Should probably make my 5th uh, Command Center before making anything else. Yeah. I mean... Even throughout the attack, I kind of started feeling like it was impossible to kill someone with this unit composition. Like, we, I feel like we did a pretty decent job, honestly. But we got some damage done. It's just like, oh, this is going to hurt. He's not re reacting. No one expects a Widow Mine drop, guys, because it sucks. GG is called. And that's what I was talking about, guys. You can very easily kill someone with just Widow Mines. Like, it's, it's not even hard. Like, you just do that. No. But seriously, this game, the fact that he left 
I, I really don't think he was even dead, to be honest. Like, he was freely mining from the gold with 11 workers. Re income? Well, he wasn't mining any gas, but his mineral income was higher. Obviously, he was going to be behind, and obviously, he didn't know I was playing like an idiot behind it. But I'm kind of happy this game ended because I am starving and I'm very tired. So it's time for me to have lunch. For you guys, I don't know what time of the day it is, but I hope you have a good night or a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all for the next one. Adios.